What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a quick video on how I went about ordering my wheel spacers and the other components that you need for your setup. Hopefully this will help you so you don't have any trouble when ordering your own spacers. So let's jump into the video. So as I mentioned, I got the wheel spacer kit from ECS Tuning. So this is not a sponsored video. That would be nice if it is. ECS Tuning, hit a brother up. But anyway, when you get the kit from them, you pay 170 bucks. I got it on sale for 129, but you pay that fee and then you can return it. And they provide the return uh, mailing slip. Uh, you can use the same box. You can just mail it back in that. But once you mail it back, then you get a refund or a store credit towards your actual wheel spacers. So this is why I'm staying with ECS Tuning to get my wheel spacers. And they have great products, and I'll show you that later in the video. If you haven't done so already, check out drivetalkcars.com. That way you can get your merch. I have these lovely hoodies, t-shirts, jet tags, as well as stickers. So get something, supports the channel, support these builds and different projects. So check that out. We're gonna to go to ecstuning.com. And then from here, when you get started, of course you're gonna pick the car that you have. I have a Mercedes-Benz 2011 E63. All right, then you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you have wheels. Under the wheels and wheel accessory section, you're gonna see wheel spacers. Now, in the previous video, we used the wheel spacer kit to determine what specific wheel spacer size we need. So for me, it was 12 and a half millimeters in the front and then 10 millimeters in the rear. So we're gonna go here and select 12.5 millimeters. And as you see for my setup, my car, there's only one provided. So let's click on that. All right, so you can see it's 12.5 millimeter wheel spacer. Uh, it does fit mine. So let's take a look at the pictures. This is important. So here we have what is called a hub centric wheel spacer. And you wanna get that. The reason why you wanna get that is because with the thicker wheel spacers, you're going to go past the wheel hub assembly, the factory wheel hub. You wanna have this extra extension on there because that allows for your car wheel to sit on it. If you had just the flat surface, it wouldn't be as strong and I wouldn't recommend that. And this is the one that everybody recommends to get is the hub centric. See, if you didn't have that, it would be flat like this. And then basically your wheel is sitting on top of the spacer with nothing to uh, center it out or to hold on to. So it could be offset a little bit and it could cause problems down the road. But when you have this or this lip, the wheel sits on top of that and then you have more uh, strength and durability on your wheels. So that's a key element that I wanted to pull out. Make sure your wheel spacers are hub centric. All right, so these are, so we're gonna go ahead and move to ordering it, so just add the cart. Most wheel spacers come in a set of two. So if you see quantity says one, it actually means you have two wheel spacers in the package. All right, so we have that ordered, let's go back. And so that's for the front. So for my setup, I have two different sizes. Some people run the same size around all four tires, but being that my front offset is different than my rear offset, I had to get two different sizes just so I can get that perfect fitment. All right, so now we just go for the 10, 10 millimeters right here. All right, so there's two options for this particular uh, size that fits my car. I want to go with, once again, the hub centric one. So let me just show you this other one. So the 10 millimeter wheel spacer here by Tuner Motorsport, if I click on it, you see that there's no lip. Let's see if they have a better picture. So as you see, there's no lip. So that means there's nowhere for the wheel to sit on. So I wouldn't get these personally. I would get this one here. As we see, even though this is a smaller size, it still has the wheel hub here. Speaking of that, if you get into the smaller size, like the one, three, or five millimeter wheel spacers, you're not gonna really need that additional uh, lip because you still have your factory wheel hub that will come through and you can still rest your tire on that So let's say you got like a three millimeter. It's so thin that there's really no need for that additional lip All right, so let's go back to the 10 millimeter right here 
Now, if you do by chance have an E63, it says that it will work for the OEM uh, wheels, and then it also say it will not work on the OEM wheels. So I contacted ECS Tuning, and they said that it will work on the E63 with the factory rims. So I'm gonna order that. All right, so we have the front wheel spacers, 12.5, and we have the rear wheel spacers, 10 millimeters. So let's go back, and this is the key element. When you get these wheel spacers, your factory lug nuts or lug bolts will not work. The reason being that they could be too long, too short. Typically, they're gonna to be too short because you wanna have the right amount of bolt inside of the wheel hub assembly. That way, you can make sure that you have strength with your tires being bolted to the wheel spacer and the wheel hub. So I'll show you some more of that now. All right, so what you wanna do here, you wanna go down to bolts, studs, and nuts. So as you can see here, there's two different styles of lug bolts, and they call it seat or seating. So you have a cone seat, which is gonna be this tapered here. Then you have your ball seat. This is gonna be more of a rounded. So you may hear tapered and rounded bolts. So that's the first thing that you're gonna to need to know uh, before purchasing your lug bolts or lug nuts as well because they have the cone or rounded as well or ball. And as you see here, this is what I was mentioning where the original wheel bolt is gonna be shorter once you add this spacer. So you're gonna to need to get an extended version of that lug bolt so you can make sure that you have proper seating of the wheel hub and the spacer. So as you see here, there is some lug bolt penetration settings or how deep it goes in and how many turns that you want to have minimum for your wheel spacer and your lug bolt. So I have the 14 by one and a half. So it's saying that I need a minimum of 7.5 turns into the wheel hub assembly. So that's once I get the wheel on, the spacer and the wheel, Hub assembly, I need to be able to go at least seven and a half turns into the full wheel hub. So how do you know what lug bolt to get? But there's three numbers that you need to know before ordering. The first one you can find out from the kit, which is the size and the thread. So for mine, it is 14 by 1.5. Everything in here is listed as 14.15 because it's filtered by my car. So that's the first thing you need to know. Second thing you need to know is what type of seat it is. Is it a ball seat or a cone seat? So as you see here, you have conical, which is cone, then you have ball. So once you identify that, then you wanna know how long do I need it? And it's measured in millimeters. So when you go to figure out how long you need, you're gonna take your original wheel bolt and you're gonna measure from here to here. So basically from where the thread starts to where it ends, and that's gonna give you a number if you measure it in inches, you can always convert it to millimeters on Google. And then you take your wheel spacer, which for my case is 12.5 in the front and 10 in the back. And then you add those two numbers together and that will give you the total length that you need for your new bolts. So I said I had 28 and 12.5 in the front. So that is gonna be 40.5. Now you probably won't find 0.5, but you can find what's close. So 40 is my main number that I'm looking for. All right, so if we look at these here, we have ball seat. They're 14 by one and a half by 40 millimeters. So this would be the bolt that I would get. It's 17 millimeter head. This is what I get. Now, your front and your rear could have different bolt length requirements. I have 40.5 in the front, 38 in the back. So 40 is middle and it should meet the requirements for all four tires. So I'm gonna order 20 of these. I have five bolts per tire. So five times four, 20 lug bolts. All right, we add that to the cart. So when you're done, you should have spaces for the front, which is gonna be two. Spaces for the back, which is gonna be another two, and then you should have 20 bolts. Now, you may have the same size for front and back. That's fine. Make sure you order a quantity of two if you're gonna use the same size for all four tires because they do come in a pair. And remember to have 20 lug nuts or lug bolts when you order your wheel spacers. So as I mentioned, when you return the wheel spacer kit back to ECS Tuning, they give you a store credit. So I'm gonna use that store credit 
towards this purchase and then just pay the difference. So it's kind of a win-win when you use that wheel spacer. It should, the wheel spacer kit only cost you maybe, I would say 30 to 40 bucks to find out your perfect fitment versus getting the spacers, put them on, find out they don't fit, they're too, too small, too big, then you have to do the return and buy new ones and all that. So I think it's well worth the investment to pick out your size, find that perfect fitment, and then purchase the wheel spacers and the extended lug bolts or lug nuts. We're gonna go ahead and place order on this and we should see what we get once we get the product in hand. <laughs> 